Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to build a complete gaming PC step by step. First, we're gonna get all the processors. So, first, check with the main processor is the Intel Core i3, the 10th generation. So, this goes for $150. Guys, all the part link will be in the description. And the, the motherboard I go with is a H410M S2H. It's gonna be $7. Guys, if you buy this on Micro Center, you can find a good deal. So, I bought both of this for $170. Guys, now next the graphics card I went with is a RX 570. The the four gigs the VRAM model. This go for 100 to 150 dollars. They went with two gigs of two DDR4 stick is the eight gigs of RAM. I have a, a 750 gigs hard drive. Then I have a with 120 gig of a SSD. The said SSD and I have, I have another drive M.2 drive. So th this is my three and also I have some RGB fan. The RGB fan is really nice. Case is the Thermaltake H18. Have uh, the upper glass, and over here I can put uh, up to three fans. And my power supply is the EVGA 500 uh, watt 80 plus. If you want to pick up a power supply, go for a, a, a good you know, like this one. It's the 80 e plus. The so first we can open up the motherboard. Yes, this motherboard go for seventy dollar, and for seven dollar it's really good for the Intel. Because it support the Intel 10 generation, so there's a newer guys this is IO shell. This is a two SATA cable. And this is the motherboard guys when you pick up a motherboard attached from the side and and not from the i made a second i'll put this to the side instead of this is the manual okay. side so now we're gonna open this up seven bucks i think it's worth it we're gonna put this in the top of the box so we're gonna open up the uh, intel processor right there and i'm gonna put the knife to the side guys this come with the stock so you didn't need it and there's the manual that nobody read and then we're gonna get to the processor this is the processor put it to the side and over here is the cpu cooler guys this already it have the, the thermal paste in it so you don't need any extra thermal paste it's right there yes you don't touch it it's gonna ruin so now we're gonna take off the processor so we're gonna grab it from the both side as you can see right here on the pc there's a gold triangle right there so you need to match the triangle in the cpu thing right here we're gonna put that up just line it up and then put it right here now we're gonna just put that down and to move the put the slaver down if that is done that's it guys now don't touch anything so after that now we're gonna put the down so now we're gonna put the cp cooler down guys don't just put any pressure we can just line it up so after that, line it up do each corner so i'll do this one then do this one and do this one and then that one as you can see now it's in so you can just flip it and now we're gonna put this right here this knot so it is more clean it's on a piece of it I, I just don't I just hate the cable so we're gonna just like that and then we're gonna put it like that so as you can see now that is done so after that is done we have the most thing done there's a CPU so now we're gonna go for the RAM because I went to 8 gig for 2021, I don't recommend go in 8 gig, go for 16 gig. If your budget allow for it, but if your budget don't allow, just go for 8 gig. It's okay. Where's my other one? Okay, there you go. Guys, if you have a DDR4 motherboard, you need to go with the DDR4 RAM. And it's the same thing for DDR3 and stuff. If you go the wrong one, it will. Okay, so as you can see right here, you need to match those notches like that and you can just put it in the line it up you're gonna hit the so now just press it down and now this clip gonna go back so now do the same thing for the other one because if you have the four slot uh, look for your uh, motherboard because your motherboard will this manual will help you to uh, know where everything goes so see that so now we have the ram cpu and now you're gonna go for the md2 food drive because this is my old one so that's why it's in this little bag so we need to put it right here we're gonna just line it up because some motherboard will have only one some motherboard motherboard have more than one so for my one it just have only one because it's a, a cheap motherboard but right here th that is more easy so you just line it up and now it's gonna stay like that so we do have pretty much it for all the thing for our motherboard we have everything for cpu ram the m.2 drive Okay, now we're gonna go the PC, the PC case. So the PC case I want is the Thermaltake 18. So TG plus for is the tempered glass. 
So this have tempered glass and this one for 55 bucks. Yes, I'm gonna put all the links in the description so if you need to check any of the part out, it, it will be in the description. Okay, so now, now I got it out. So you're gonna just put that in the case. In the case box. Boom. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this part out. Oh, this is the uh, front part, so it's gonna be like this. Yes, this is a micro ATX case. So it's a really small case, but uh, I, I really like it. But only for 50, 55 bucks, things worth it. Because there's the pill. Oh, so in the front is the USB 3.0. This is the power button. The power button is really nice. <laughs> I, I like the click. Then I have the reset LED, USB 2.0 and a USB 3.0. So this is my thermal take it in the top is the logo and this is where the thumb screw is. So now we're gonna take off this case and in the back is where the all the USB all the cable goes. Because this re re look really nice. I, I must say this looks really nice. So first we're gonna take up this. It's, this is actually tempered glass, so it's for my other, my old case was a Q300L and the glass was like, there is a plastic and this is, this is full glass. Oof. Ooh, that's heavy. I guess I, I need to be careful with that. Don't drop. And this is a, a magnet for a, for the top. So I'm gonna, so now I'm gonna open the back. In the back there's another two screw. Oh, this is tight but this is a thumb screw so it's gonna come off easily okay so you don't uh, lose the screw because you need all of these so now i'm gonna open it up like so and you're gonna put this right here in the back yes okay, so as you can see this is the case so as you can see it come with this bag so this is all the all the necessary screw that you need so we're gonna guys we, we need all of these cables as you can see right here we need all of these and this is a cable tie this i i, I like this bag it's all the screw that stem hand as you can see right here this is all the cable so this all the cable gonna uh, go to our is gonna plug to our motherboard but before i do that we need to get our power supply in so i'll put the focus to the side the power supply because this is a 500 watt power supply by evga they make pretty decent about the power supply. Oh, oops. Okay, as you can see right here, we're gonna as you can see this is the main thing. So now we need to just put it inside like this. And now we're gonna screw it in. Okay, so don't just ignore all the all those cables but we wouldn't need it we wouldn't need like most of the cable that we just don't need. So now we're gonna get the uh, screws from this bag so now we need to just plug it in so we just line it up right here and then we're going to plug it in just building a pc you just need only a screwdriver that is it i need to open this up so first try to line this up with the motherboard so right here as you can see it's pretty much lined up but we are ready to put this on our case as you see one of the hardest part of as you can see boom it's in it's down and then try to put it in so as you can see right here is all this all the motherboard stand up is already in for my case i think most of the case it will be in so now try to just line it up as you can see now it's lined up so we need this kind of screw so now we have this thing in so now it's not falling off so now we're gonna go for the next thing is the graphics card so the graphics card is gonna go right here we're gonna we're gonna see which two slot it will take so it will take take up the first two slot so you're gonna take up the first two slot right here plug it in so guys before also you do that as you can see right here just hit do that after that now you can just you're yeah, yeah, ready to as you can see now that that thing's clicked back so now we can just screw it and use this if it First, we're gonna go in the back and we're gonna start up with the easy stuff. So, as you can see right here, guys, ignore this part. 
I guess if he thinks this is too much, I guess it's not gonna be too much. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this step by step right now. So, guys, so first we're gonna get the 24 four pin cable from here and we're gonna put it in from there. Then we're gonna get our PCI. So, this is for our uh, graphics card. So, this is for the CPU. So, we're gonna put the CPU to the side. We're gonna put the CPU from the top. And so, this is case have really good cable management. As you can see right here, we can just put it in like this. And we're gonna go for the next, we're gonna go for the PCI cable. So this is what we need for the graphics card. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it from here. So as you can see, this make really easy for the all the cable all and stuff. So as you can see, this thing is for the SATA and stuff. We actually don't need this right now. So we're gonna go from on the top and we're gonna start putting this thing in so first i'll do the easy part first we're gonna do the cpu so stitch is the eight pin cable right here and then line it up and then we're gonna do it right here so as you can see that is in so you're gonna put the cable back and then boom as you can see it look really nice from the front so then we're gonna go for the 24 pin cable so this is the main cable for our motherboard so this is the power for, to our motherboard so we're gonna just put it to put it there as you can see, boom, that is also done. So, so now just try to put the cable in the back. This is the PC card. If you have the small graphics card, you didn't need this thing. But for me, I do need this. So you're gonna put this in, boom, that's it. So now we have all the uh, main cable done. So now we're gonna go to our thing and we're gonna grab all the our port cable. So all the USB port, we're gonna grab that. So you're gonna turn this around and grab all of this. So you can just put it. You can just put this from the, from the top. Yes, after you do this, this is pretty much it. So now when you see the plug in the power and the HDMI cable and then that's pretty much it. So first I need to plug in this fan. As you can see this is how you need to install it so first you need to open up the panel then you need to just find the screw and then screw it in from the inside okay so i don't need to really show you this because it's gonna take so, lots of time but as you can see i just screw it in one side one corner one corner and then the other corner then i guess so first i'm gonna install all of this and then i'm gonna come back over this is the thing that that come with the case the fan case so now we need to plug into a seri cable and then that's it all the, uh three fan in the front so as you can see right here i'll show it from this side as you can see the three fan is in so now is i need to get the hub and then i'm gonna plug it in so then i'm gonna show you guys after it's finally boot up and i'm gonna show you guys how to install so this so now everything is done except for the cable manager and but first i'm gonna see if it thing work or not so first let's see if it boot up or not so we're gonna plug in the hdmi the power cable and see so what i plug everything in my keyboard my mouse all the speaker this thing is in also this is the usb i have in installed windows but as you can see now it's turning it on as you can see it's on and now let's see if, if we, we get any boot logo oh it's gigabyte let's go we made it so this is also another remote to change the light color so if you want to just do any light color like that with any white yes, i do like you like that one i think the white look give a really nice look the blue look dope, the yellow of course. My, but my favorite one is this, it's cool effect. So as you can see, we have the Windows thing, the Windows thing, so now we're gonna install Windows. So we're gonna click next, press an install now. Because we're gonna check our bias later, first we're gonna install all the Windows. Press on, I don't have a key. Okay, press on. You can choose which one you want. I'll with the home. So that is done. We're gonna go on the next one. Press on I accept. Then click next. Press on custom. So what you're gonna find all your drive. So for me, I think it's this one is the primary, is the new. Next. Wait. I think this is the drive. So I do have tons of drive. Yeah, this is the drive. So now just give it a few seconds until this thing to load. So as you can see now this is installing all the windows file copying the windows file then the grabbing it's making it ready so i'm gonna i'm gonna fast forward this 
and there are PC should restart in 10 seconds or you can just press on restart now so just click on restart now and then this should hopefully un boot into the windows 10 so the keyboard light up uh, we, we see a gigabyte logo so this is the brand of the motherboard we got this motherboard go for 70 bucks but the best what is with this budget bill is this processor the intel core i3 10th generation this is the i3 10100 this goes for 150 dollar but i found this for only 100 dollar on micro center guys i'll put the link in the description to micro center guys if, if you are looking for a budget build don't forget then don't look other than this one this is the thing that you, should, you definitely should check out to restart now i think it should put up to understand uh, at least i hope so right now i think everything is loading starting service getting device ready getting ready Guess I'm gonna come back when this thing to do the setup. Okay, so now it's finally to the setup. So we're gonna I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up. So as you can see, it's just talking to turn on narrator. Oh, good. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Boom. So let's. Yes. Your keyboard. Yes. Can you also type with another? Skip. Now we have some important setup to do. So what's the point of she's talking? Sit how, back and relax. Okay, how about let you share a meter? Wait a minute, our magic. Please don't turn up the. Okay, yeah, imagine if we just turn up for a device. Nah, I'm kidding. Hey, guys, hey, 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 don't do that. It's gonna ruin your PC. Okay, so after this whole thing is done, I'm gonna sh then I'm gonna show you guys how to install all the uh, Java for your motherboard because that's another thing that we need to do. So let, let's just, sh as you can see, just a minute, because the computer is doing its thing. So let's add your account because now we need to sign up to your uh, your Outlook account. So it's a Microsoft account. If you don't have one, press on create account. So I'm gonna come back with the one I've done. Sign. It's gonna ask you to create a pin. Press on create a pin. Then I'm gonna just put a pin right now. So guys, I'm not gonna show you guys what pin did I put. Then press on, then uh, type in the same pin. You just put it right now. For that, press on okay. After that is done, as you can see right here, press on now. Press on do it later. Wait, what? The PC just restart. Oh, because what thing? Uh, guys, I think it's just doing it, it for the uh, what is it called? You know, this computer is 75 hertz, so the that is why it, someday it just restart, it just, it just reboot. So, well, that's why, as you can see, now it just reboot again. And so we're getting everything ready for you. Yeah, that, that, I know that. Thank you. This might take several minutes. So guys, I'm going to show you fast forward this part. Guys, this is like, or this is done. Yeah, yeah, pretty much done. So then it's gonna uh, put it into two our windows. This thing almost there. Boom. Guys, we finally put it into our windows 10.